Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an update for you for my Pando's Eyeshadows project. And I'm excited enough so let's jump in starting off with the eyeshadow that I've been working on the longest uh, going up to the ones that have been in here more recently. Um, I'm always working on five randomly generated eyeshadows. I just have all my eyeshadows listed in a spreadsheet and I just randomize the numbers and whatever pops up pops up apart from a few exceptions but we'll talk about that when we get to that so first let's talk the oldest <laughs> oldest the product that's been in here the longest which is my LA Colors uh, Enchanted palette and I was working on the second shade in here uh, as you can probably see I did manage to hit pan in that one. So I'm very excited about that. It took me 31 uses. It took me four more since last time. So not even the usual five that I tried to get in. A uh, total of 31 uses. And I had this in since January, basically. I rolled it in at the start of the year. Had a few greens that I was working on. So I wasn't fully focusing on this one. And then now in the last couple of months, I really started focusing on this guy more. And I was able to roll it out. So yay for that not my favorite it's kind of like a blue tone green and i'm more for the yellow tone green so well now we know and then the next palette that's been in here the longest is the w7 in the ninth palette and here i'm working on the nine shade or i was working on the nine shade because it's a little harder to see in this one so you might need a close-up for this one uh, this is a shade that i was working on and i did hit the tiniest bit of pen uh, after two more uses, I was definitely expecting more uses were needed to get there, but I was using more like my pencil brush and putting it on the outside, like the outer V area. So that is probably partly why I've been able to hit pen a bit more quickly. Two more uses, 22 uses in total for me to hit pen on that one, which means I'm rolling two eyeshadows out. Then in the NYX palette, which is my focus palette, when it comes to this this year, um, I'm always making sure that at least one of the shades in here is in this project until I hit pan on all of them, of course, which we're getting kind of close to, but we're not there yet. I am uh, currently working on the red shade right here. Why did I have to think about that? Uh, no pan on this one yet. I've had this in since April. The W7 one was in still since March. I don't know if I mentioned that. This one was in here since April. I've used an additional five times, kind of my usual, what I try to get to, unless I hit pan. Uh, and I'm in a total of 18 uses on that one right now. Definitely getting a bit more of a dip in here. So this will for sure be my next focus shade to try and hit pan on in this palette. So hopefully I can roll this one out next time. That would be really good. And then last time I hit pen in two shades as well, if I'm correct. So I rolled two shades in, uh, one of them being in this Coastal Sense Creative Me number two palette. And that is this purple shade right here. Now that I've used it a couple of times, I've learned that it has a bit of like a pinkish undertone, even though you don't specifically swatch it. I'll swatch it when, I, when I'm done talking about this. Uh, it has a bit of a pinkish undertone, so it's kind of like a lilac on my lids which is good to know um, it does work well together with the blue for my panda palette um, kind of to make it a bit more I guess a material springy type of look even though we're definitely not in spring but okay and also the pigment that I'm using in my inner corner once I'm done with some other stuff I might actually be able to use that kind of like in my inner part and the purple on the outer part possibly but five uses on this guy and we're gonna do some swatches because i forgot starting off with the two that are rolling out which is this purplish shade right here which oh, i'm putting here because i don't want them on my hands it's like a yeah a dark like burgundy purplish something aubergine shape <laughs> i'm so bad with these type of colors i never know what what is what with all those like darker purplish type of shades then the green put underneath it that is the green and you can kind of see that it has a bit more of like a bluish base to it which yeah 
just not my thing. I'm more for the warmer shades and the bluish green. It's not a warm shade. Then that red shade. I'll swatch that on my hand because we will still be working on that one. That is the red shade, which is totally not interfering with my panda palette at all. Uh, a bit of sarcasm. That purple in the coastal scents palette right here. So they both have like good pigment. This one kind of because it's a bit more powdery doesn't per se look like this on my eye. I really have to build this up but this one really has a nice like not much building needed. It's just that's what it is basically. And then lastly in my little Catrice quad right here from the limited edition Rebel Tear collection. It's the toxic combination and then here I'm working on this matte shade which is actually a what do they call it again a cake eyeliner so I have actually been using this as an eyeliner as well even though it will probably work as an eyeshadow too but I'm already working on a gray in my panda palette I'm also working on a black as my eyeliner but getting in five uses as an eyeliner is still doable without it affecting my partner on that black shade too much so that's what I've been doing with that one so no further pans but at least small dips in um the purple and the and the, the cake eyeliner grayish something <laughs> and hopefully i can hit pan on that red shade by next time but now the most exciting part we're gonna roll some new shades in and like i said there are some exceptions i'm not rolling in any blacks because i will only be working on one black at a time and I don't want anything that's interfering too much with my Panda palette or the shades that I'm already working on in here or other projects for that matter. So actually, let's let's talk numbers first. Let's get my laptop here and I have uh, it open. So I hit two new pans. I had 59 eyeshadows with pen last time and this time I have 60 eyeshadows with pan. I'm very aware that 59 plus 2 is not 60, but I also finished off an eyeshadow in my panda palette. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll link that update up here. I did already film that, right? I forgot. Yes, I did already film that. <laughs> that was already a couple of weeks ago. So, linked up there. Um, so, 60 eyeshadows with pan. One less because I finished one off, which is also exciting, but it does change up the numbers a little bit, of course. Uh, total eyeshadows, 490, bringing me to a pen percentage of 12.2, coming from 12% the last time. So we're going up slowly but surely. Then I have four eyeshadows that are in other projects, including this one. So three in here and one in my the Panners Pen project, actually. Um, giving me a total of... 426 eyeshadows to pick from so in my pretty random app right here I've got the numbers 1 to 4 26 and we're gonna roll two of them and hope there's no blacks there so 308 and 112 now let's see 308 first guessing it's gonna be in one of my bigger palettes 308 is number 88 in my 88 palette um okay let's see hopefully that's not a black because i feel like the blacks are or like the darker shades are in the bottom corner and i've already got like a dark gray here as well so yeah let's see um and then 112 is in my sephora palette shape number six I'm gonna grab those and see what we're ending up with. We're back. I'm starting off with my 88 palette. I haven't looked yet, so let's see what this is. It's a dark brown. And well, I guess I just finished off my dark brown in my panda palette. So uh, right here, we're gonna be working on that one. Um, I did hit pan in a shade in here like what was it a month ago let me actually check how many uses it was because that was a light pinky sh shade kind of curious to see how long that took me because it will give me a little bit of an idea although i will be using a completely different type of brush so it won't be fully representative but let's see it took me 
40 uses on that one. So let's see how this is going to go. It's a darker shade, but then I would be using it at different places with a different brush. So I don't really know what to expect just yet, but yes, we're fine. I can work on a dark brown because I do not have a dark brown yet. Let me swatch it. So we have a clear view of what it is we're working on exactly. Swatching that right underneath here. Oh, it's actually lighter than I expected it to be. It's a lot lighter than I expected it to be. This is going to be like an easy transition-y type of shade even. Wow. That does not look at all the way that it looks in the pan. Now, my palette probably is a bit jumbled up because a lot of these are not glued in. So this might not be the color that is normally here, but it's what's there in my palette. So we're going to go with it and that actually will be easier to work with. It's a very like fall palette this way uh, so far. But let's see what is in that Sephora palette. I'm already working on a bronzer in here. So this is out already, which is kind of nice to be able to multitask a palette in different projects in that way. So I'm opening it up. One, two, three, four, five. It's a light blue. It's definitely a lot lighter than the blue that's in my Pena palette. So I think, I think it's okay. I've just decided it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's very, very light. So this is definitely like a lid shade or maybe even like a transition type of something to blend out the blue in my Panda palette. Um, yeah, definitely doesn't fit in with, although like these two could be interesting together, but um, I had a warm palette and then now all of a sudden like these two are clearly also pulling it more towards the cooler side. But yeah, that is the palette that we're going to be working with. I'm hoping to be able to roll at least this one out by next time. Not really expecting any of the others to be done uh, or done. <laughs> That would be something to have pan by next time, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any thoughts on how to use these also in combination with my other things. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.